Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about create dynamic routes using router package. And you know, uh, with, when we talk about the routes or when we talk about the URLs, we cannot forget the params uh, URLs as well as because we can have the query string URLs and we use those values uh, in our on those particular pages and do some uh, backend work like call databases or call specific records. So let's create the real time example and understand this con concept in detail. Before uh, working on this concept, I will recommend you to uh, watch my videos and uh, and subscribe to my channel uh, because I've created all the complete React.js developer course. The, this course covers all the topics of the React.js in detail with practical examples and also with theoretical concepts. And you can subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and your colleagues and whoever wants to learn React and wants to become a champion in React. And if you have any questions, please write in the comments. And if you have any suggestions, please give me suggestions and I will improve those things. So guys, uh, you know, um, let me show you one real-time example. You can see here, uh, we have one URL, right? Don slash tag. And also when I need to read a specific news from this uh, tag news page, uh, if I click here, tutor, then you can see here this, this is, there is specific changes in the URL the slash news slash id so this id get passed here and it bring back the record of this specific tech news id this is how we actually uh, uh, make usage of these params when we work on the urls so you know um, uh, in this example i have covered this topic uh, you can see my previous video we have created nav link uh, menus and also we uh, covered how we can actually change the urls and uh, also we can uh, move, navigate to one page to another page but guys uh, also we have covered the programmatically navigation but today i'm going to cover one of the important topic uh, when we talk about the url changes or routes uh, that is actually if i pass specific ids here i need to fetch the record of the specific id like if i have multiple products and i need to uh, see the detail of one particular product so if i click on that product it actually reloads or and take us to a new component and reload the detail of that product so how actually we can cover that thing in uh, using the react router dom package let's see and check it out so i'm going to add one new folder here i'm going to say it products great and here i'm going to add one component great and i'm going to write code snippet okay great and i'm going to say it like h1 list of products let's suppose great guys and i'm going to add ul here and i'm going to say it product one and so on okay great i've added few products here so guys, this is actually this, uh, this is just a dev for the demo purpose it's not the actual data you can get this data from the api or you can fetch the data from the parent component it's up to you I'm just showing you the concept how we are actually going, how we can actually deal with this. So now I'm going to add this here before the contact us. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say here, okay, great products. Okay, I'm going to set products here. Cool. Okay, great. And now I need to add in the app dot. Uh, app.js file I, in the previous video we have covered that how we actually uh, manage all these things so don't worry there's nothing very much confusing for this video because we have already discussed about these things okay great and i need to import this component okay i need to uh, import from components and products and from product Great guys so now check this out we have new um, option here nav link and then if, it, if i click here you can see multiple products here don't worry about this ul it's uh, we can remove it by using the css so now if i click on or if i load the click on product 2 it needs to change the url like this it need to pass the 2 here and or it's up to you like product id and then you can fetch the record of this particular product so what we need to do first i'm going to make changes in the link here and i need to say here products slash and here you need to pass the colon and product id product id right so this product id is basically uh, uh, whatever product you will pass after this it is going to support this particular component or load this particular component so i'm going to say product 
detail I need to add this component here in the products create like this and I'm going to use the code snippet RFCE a react functional export component create product detail and here I'm going to say uh, like I can say here h1 okay cool and now here I'm going to say like product IDs product ID right now I'm just I have just written the hard-coded data I need to pass the fragmentation because we need to pass one parent component so now what I'm going to do this is the important part of this topic actually or video or you can say topic actually now we uh, uh, we will show product specific data based on product IDs because uh, we, we have option like this if I pass here like I can say here something like one and then I, I can say two but this is not actually the real-time example or the rela or we, uh, dynamic way of holding the routes the dynamic way of holding the routes is we you need to pass the id a uh, specific id create an id and then you can use this id on that specific page so I, i'm going to use that real time example so you need to pass your field name like this and then you can use that so uh, you need to understand this concept so we have created this uh, identifier id here so now i'm going to use that id here so how we can use that i just shared that uh, react router dom uh, give us one new thing that is use params so I'm going to say from react router dom and I'm going to say it use param use param right so in this use param uh, this use param will actually have all the detail of this uh, parameters so I'm going to say as const params and like this so guys uh, now Jeff uh, will uh, now what what is actually this param is uh, this is actually the JavaScript object and it uh, this object will have all the properties uh, uh, which we pass as a parameter in the URL. So now I will say here I'm not going to pass this one. I'm going to say param start. You need to pass the property value. So what is the property value? Product ID like this. Okay, great. So when I pass this now. I need to make check this out and I will say here I need to import it here product detail and like this great guys so now we pass this product ID if we have the specific ID URL then it is going to load this component but when we do not have any URL or when we do not have any ID only the products uh, this executor is going to show this JSX or UI so let's check this out great okay so now I'm going to uh, change do change like this I'm going to say two here and now you can see it actually get this value if I pass here any value it is going to check this we need to check this very great guys so this is how we actually get the value from our parents and use them so on the back end it's up to you now now if you get the value you can make any API call or any backend call or any uh, you have any specific data which was storage inside your browsers you can get this id and use that data to show your product detail so that's it from the today video i hope you understand the concept of this param use and uh, how useful this param use uh, will be in your daily life development so thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the bell icon and also click like on the videos and give me comments and suggestions if you have i hope you are enjoying the video and learning the react concepts that is the main important thing for me and also do practice as much as you can i hope soon you will become a great and expert in react js thank you guys have a good day